Okay, let's write the equation of this circle in standard form. So the first thing we certainly need to be aware of is that standard form would be x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared equals r squared, where the center of the circle is h k. And of course, the radius of the circle is our value for r. So to complete the square, or excuse me, to, to get this into standard form, we need to complete the square. So on x's and y, so I'm going to group my x's and factor out a 4. And I want to emphasize I'm not factoring out a 4 because I can. I'm factoring out a 4 because I have to. If this 12, for instance, was a 7, I would still have to factor out a 4. So my x is grouped. Factor out the 4 gives me an x squared plus 3x. Leave a blank. Then the y squareds. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and group my y's. Factor a 4 out of it as well. Plus 4 times y squared minus 6y and leave a blank. And then I'm going to subtract 41 to the other side. At that point, I need to go back on my completing the square skills and, re and recall that in order to do that, I take the b term, 3, divide it by 2, and square that. Well, that would give me 9 fourths, and that's the value that I need to fill my blank in with, plus 9 fourths. And we'll come back to that 9 fourths in just a moment. Likewise, for the y's, I need to take my negative 6 term, divide that by 2, and square that. That gives me negative 3 squared, positive 9, so I put in a plus 9. But these guys weren't a part of our original equation. I put those on, and here is a common mistake. The common mistake is, well, we balance the equation by adding 9 fourths and adding 9 to the right, which makes sense until we realize this isn't really 9 fourths. This is 4 times 9 fourths that I basically just invented. I put it on the left side of the equation. So 4 times 9 fourths, 9. Th adding this term really added 9 to this side, so to balance that, I'm going to add 9 to that side. Likewise, I didn't add 9 here. I really added 4 times 9 for a plus 36 onto both sides. Okay. At that point, I should have completed squares. So on the left, I have 4 times, well, this must be x plus 3 halves squared plus 4 times y, this must be a minus 3 squared, equals negative 41 plus 9 plus 36, 4. And we are almost in this form. We just have to divide both sides by 4. So I end up with x plus 3 halves squared plus y minus 3 squared equals divide both sides by 4, and I get 1. So I've now learned that my center is at negative 3 halves, what I might refer to as the most interesting value of x, what makes that 0, what makes this term 0, and my mo most interesting value of y, 3. And my radius is 1. So there's a problem for, for finding radiuses, centers of circles by getting them into our standard form.